The Victoria Hospital would like to inform the public that we have already started elective surgeries and day surgeries. Uh, we now have three patients in the ICU um, department, intensive care unit, and um, we would still like persons to know that even though we have three patients presently in our ICU, we would want persons to continue doing what we had asked or requested earlier on, that persons follow the rules and regulations when it comes to traffic, do not drive when you know you're drunk, try to ride your motorcycles, but do so with a helmet. We're asking persons to, to resolve their conflict amicably and also to take their medication and do the necessary so that we would have less persons coming into the Victoria Hospital when it comes to persons that would warrant ICU. As I did mention in a previous clip that I did, that when you do have an increase in the ICU cases that run into our operating theater, it creates a problem for us to do elective surgery as well as it also uh, uh, causes an issue for us to continue giving ICU care to other persons. So what we have done at the level of the Ministry of Health is that we are working with, we are working towards having a consultation sometime on the 5th of March with other agencies like the police, civil society organizations, churches. In that way, we'll be able to discuss and see what we can do to improve the situation we have on ground, which will ultimately um, improve our ability to manage cases within the ICU of Victoria Hospital. Um, at our level, internally, we are also re reviewing our protocols when it comes to admission. In that way, we have a standard when it comes to who is supposed to come in at this point. In that way, we're not only working externally with agencies, but we're making changes internally to help the situation when it comes to ICU admissions.